Welcome to a long overdue another edition of the Techno Wizard Show. I have started to unpack the old uh, lab here. As you see, I got a uh, table set up with a couple of uh, high voltage power supplies here. I'm just going to do that real quick for you guys since it has been such a long time. First, my other 1530 NST. Here's the specs on it. And let's go ahead and see some raw unfiltered sparks here. 30 milliamps of electricity. Yeehaw. And I don't know if they even make these anymore. Or when the last time is, it's unplugged, that I showed you guys this. But it is a United Nuclear. And then that dot com. Uh, 60 kV DC power supply. That goes up to 6 times 10 kV. And you have the option of switching up your polarity. I'm going to have negative on the left, positive on the right here. So let's go ahead. It's turned off. And uh, let's do some sparks here. 10 kV. Let's go ahead and set it was up to 40 kV, I think. Let's set the sparks a bit wider and do a little more, shall we? Let's, uh, yeah. 10. There's 20. 30. Notice how the spark was a little bit weaker over to the right. Positive side, there's that's because the ions are gathering up here on the negative side. Now watch here, there it'll be slightly darker on the left. See? You see that? So voltage flows from the negative side to the positive side. That's why there's a brighter side. Is that right? I think that's right. Pretty sure that's what it is. Power light is on. Let's go ahead and just for a little finale here, see if we can get the 60 kV to jump that length of a spark. back. Hopefully I'll be getting things in a bit more of a suitable state uh, soon enough. Take it a few goodies here. Old modem. Still got my aluminum foil tape. A little number 
Tesla coil themed uh, car to dealy do. And uh, these are for lightsaber props there. See, it looks kind of like a lightsaber. Yeah, oh, I used this a long time ago as kind of a to, to, to um, put high voltage across the, the two screws there and so it shut the water that the electricity would carry on the water but it just melted the tip of this cheap plastic squirt gun so that didn't work WD-40 and duct tape a complete toolkit oh dude dude you guys seen this thing the old Merlin game it's a touchpad deal yeah, not the battery cover. Got a lot of corrosion on some of the contacts. Especially right there. Look how green that is. But hopefully I can get this thing working again. I had it kind of open with the guts, but I think I got that sealed up properly. Alright, well, as soon as I get more stuff to show you, I shall. So thank you for watching Techno Wizard. Tune in next time.